So I just kind of wanted to walk around and show you what some of my plants are doing today. Yeah, and I've got a few maintenance, maintenance type thingies to do. So we'll do that as well. And um, this is where some of my Hoya hang. This is a south window and I've got these pots that are attached to each other with the chain. They're really cute. I like them and they're perfect for Hoya. Anyway, this is my Matilda and it has never flowered before. And looky here, we've got a peduncle with some little buds on it. So this will be the first time this plant has flowered. So I'm pretty excited about that. This is my Hoya clandestina. clandestina. Um, it's just sun stressed and you can't even tell because the backlight. Well, here we go. Look at that. You see that sun shining through there? That is beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> and then these ones up here are outlined, which I love. My Hoya crinkleate is always flowering all summer, all spring, beautiful. So this really isn't a change, but I don't know if I've showed you guys or not. Um, yeah, some of them are drying up, whoopsie. But I've really enjoyed this plant all summer and spring. And the leaves are quite beautiful too. Look at them. If you guys don't have this plant, get it and hang it in a south window and you'll have flowers. I repotted my philodendron 69686. Beautiful thing. And in one of my blue and white pots, which I love. This um, mandula pothos is going to get repotted today because it's, yeah, it's just not as happy as it was and it looks pretty tight in there. So we're gonna take care of that. I also repotted my philodendron Bob C into this bigger pot. He was in a tiny pot and he just grows so fast. Look at all this new stuff coming out. He's a cool plant. I really dig his leaves. Look at those, really cool. So I'm hoping right here by the window, he's gonna really grow fast and upward rather than sprawly. And then <clears throat> the philodendron that we repotted, doing great, doing great. It's looking really good. She gets some sun there and she likes it. In my terrarium, I added, I took out all the butterfly plants that I was doing and I added the rotunda flora and the silver croniana, the super silver, because I don't know, I always, I take them out of here, out of, you know, like a terrarium type environment and they get shrivelly looking. So you can see the rotunda flora is still kind of looks like that, but yeah, and then that we've got the Hoya enduinensis there and the Hoya serpens, which is a super slow growing little bugger. I moved my Monstera to this corner here and I used to have the micans hanging up there, but it was too long and it hung down into the Monstera and I didn't like it. So I moved it over here. Now it has, you know, a view of the outside. It gets some light. It's really pretty. Love this plant. And then up here, I took out one of the plants that was in the middle. It was right there. Um, it's the lemon lime philodendron and let me show you where i put that on our way to there um i put the platinum mist peace lily up here by the ficus and it doesn't look great right now because i had it downstairs my my daughter came back from south korea and she's 
um, living in the basement for a little bit. And so I put a bunch of plants down there, but this one really didn't seem to love it. So we moved him back up here. He's so pretty. Um, when he perks up more, I'll show him to you because I really like this platinum mist variety of um, peace lily. Can you see the how pretty the leaves are? That is where I put the lemon lime philodendron. And I think I was inspired because of the one at Harley's house. I just wanted to be able to watch it more because that one at her house in the bathroom, I really... That was probably my favorite plant display at her whole house. So, anywho, and then my husband had taken this Monstera to work. <clears throat> it was just little when he took it, and it got really beautiful. The leaves are beautiful, so that's over here. And then I brought in my um, Bird of Paradise, and then I've got this little grow light on them. Hopefully that's enough light and they'll all be happy there. And I really like this. I really like them all together. Violet likes them. Huh, Violet? She's deaf. And then over here, I had this ficus umbellata. I had it right by the humidifier in that um, room that gets, it's really bright in there. Um, and it was right next to the humidifier. I thought it would love it there, but it never got, like it would, I don't know, it would get these big, this one kind of has it, but these big brown spots on it. And yeah, so I kept cutting off leaves. You can see it has a big trunk now because I cut all the leaves off as they looked ugly, which was constantly. And it would always only have like two or three leaves on it. But since I've moved it here by this west window, it's starting to look really good. And I'm pretty excited about this because I think this plant is awesome. And I think it's gonna look even awesomer, even though I wasn't happy that I had to keep cutting off all these leaves. I think it's gonna look awesome as kind of like a tree, you know? I've got my mandula out here and I decided I'm gonna put it in this pot here got a hole in the bottom and I've got my I've got to mix it up still so let's do that my perlite and soil got this nice um, like garden claw that I use to mix my soil up it works really good and um, you can get it at that outdoor section of any store like the yard working section I just use miracle Grow potting soil. Um, it's always worked well for me. And I love the perlite. Sometimes I add a little bit of charcoal. I didn't this time, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And sometimes some clay balls in that, but I'm not going to for this guy. So I'm gonna give it a squirt under the sink, clean off the leaves, give it a good drink, and to clean off the pot where I got the dirt everywhere. Looks like it has much more room. It's clean. Look how pretty the leaves are. Got a good spot here on the table, close to the humidifier. Now I'll keep you posted how it does here. I've had some folks ask about my chickens. Um, so if you are interested in my chickens, then I'm gonna go show those to you right now. They've gotten big and they're really pretty. Um, the rooster has started crowing. Not Elvis, the black one, but the other rooster has started crowing and the Hens have started to lay eggs. So let's go there now. Oh good, they're still awake. I got distracted and it's nighttime now and a different day, but. 
Okay, so here they are. I'll come down here. Here's um, Elvis. He's a real friendly guy. And then we ha actually have another rooster, which is the guy right there. He's super handsome and he started crowing. Look how beautiful he is. He's a golden cochin. <laughs> and this one really wants me to tell you about her. I'm not sure. I think she's the blue Andalusian. Um, this one is always looking at me out of the side of his eye and it's freaky. Her eye. Plus she always pecks my toes. <laughs> I don't like it. But um, she's a buff or pink tin. And then that one right there is a, a blue Morans. She lays really dark chocolate eggs. Oh, there's my lavender or pink tin. She's a beaut. A uh, silver coat tin right there. A uh, partridge coat tin right there. Uh, over here, this is a speckled Sussex. Sorry, my dog's so annoying. If I'm not right by them, then they think they're gonna die. <laughs> Let's see. Over here, we've got um, the Wyandots. We have like three of those. Those are the ones that look like, well, they remind me of the monarch butterflies. Um, this is a, uh, uh, just an Americana this one and then that lighter one over there and then the one with the big comb there by the entrance that one's a oh shoot a West well summer well summer and then over there that white one oh, crud I forget the name I'll have to insert the name but she's a real loner she just always is by herself, pretty much. She gets along good with everybody. Um, I think she might have a little bit of anxiety <laughs> or something, I don't know. She does weird stuff. Like she'll just start um, going bok, 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 like a lot, like crazily. Or she'll just start digging it, their little pen or, I don't know not normal like she's having fun doing it but like in an anxious way so oh hello look at that lavender orpington so pretty and then all of our little quail are in this cage here that my husband built let me go out here oh and then over here this is a uh, another chicken pen because we didn't know if the old hens would let the new ones go in there so we my husband built another one for them and they've been laying eggs in there and while he's right here look at him isn't he gorgeous <laughs> look at those green feathers you are a handsome dude aren't you 